at other plans this evening. In the first, cleanup hitter with man aboard, two run shot, makes it two zip. Indians go to top of two. Meat will erase that lead in a hurry. Casey aboard to the right field bullpen. We're all tied up. Still in the second. Pokey Reese muscling up big time. His third on the year. The Reds lead three to two. And not for long. Bottom of two. Richie Sexton punishing Nagel's offering for a solo home run to left. Kind of like batting practice already, guys. 3-3. And David Justice coming up again in the third. Oh, my. That's a bomb. Second of the game for him. It's 5-3, Tribe. Top of five. It was 6-3. Dante Bichette guiding one into center field. That'll score Junior from third. Makes it 6-4. The Indians' bullpen was erratic but effective. Spire launches one into the first row with Larkin at the plate, and then he struck him out. Bottom of seven. Sexton refusing to give Justice the glory. His second large win of the game as well, 7-4. And this was appropriate for the Reds' night. In the ninth, Casey taking one deep to left to lead off. Cabrera leaping at the wall. Great catch. Reds lose their fourth in a row. 7-4 Tribe. On a box score bonus, Nagel suffers his first loss of the season in their last four games. Red starters 0-4 with an 8.80 ERA. Justice is his 18th career two-homer game. Steve Paris is now winless in his last six starts. He falls to two and nine as the Reds drop their fifth straight, 6-5 to the Indians. Let's go to the Jake. Ken Griffey Jr. puts the Reds on the board in the first with his 17th homer. This is a two-run blast to right. Reds up two zip. Now the Tribe tie it, but former Red Dave Berba gets lit up by Michael Tucker. That's his ninth homer. Two-run shot in the fourth. It's now Reds four to two. But Travis Fryman leads off the fourth with his first of two homers today. The Reds lead is shrinks to four three. Paris then gets rocked in the sixth. Fryman home run. Russ Branion home run. Kenny Lofton home run. Indians go ahead six to five. Big play coming up here in the seventh as the Reds threaten. Junior singles the right field, but when he tries to stretch it into a double, Omar Vizquel is there. Watch him put on the tag, or does he? The umpire says Junior's out. I think he missed the leg. That hurts. Best play of the game by catcher Benito Santiago. Fryman singles the left. Robbie Alomar tries to score. Tucker throws. Santiago tags Alomar's thigh. Now that's a tag. But the Reds have now lost nine of their last 13. But let's begin with the Battle of Ohio. The Reds looking to end a five-game losing streak and salvage the final match against the Indians. So let's go to the Jake. And you got to feel sorry. Poor Benito Santiago. Oh, man. He wish he caught that one, right? Bottom of the first. Valone in trouble. Runners on second and third. Only one out. But Demetri Young, great snag. Turns a double play. The Reds fall behind, though. Three to nothing in the third. They turn the double play here, 5-4-3, but Travis Fryman still scores a run. Could have been much worse, but Ken Griffey Jr. makes an outstanding diving catch in center field. Look at Jr. Oh, what a gold glover he is. When Richie Sexton homers the center in the seventh, the Indians are up 5 to nothing. The Reds are down. Chuck Finley is awesome until his wild pitch scores Aaron Boone. Reds come back 5-1. to one. Fortunately for the Reds, Finley is pulled. His reliever... Justin Spire, well, he sends a 2-0 fastball to the comeback kid, Junior. Bangs his 18th home run, ties the game, five on the eighth. Danny Graves dodging a big bullet in the 10th. Base is loaded. Look what Omar Vizquel does. He helps him turn a double play. Then we move on to the 13th. The Reds loading up the sacks for Aaron Boone. Base hit the left field. Two runs score. The Reds are up. Manny Ibar, come on and get your win. Striking out David Justice. Ball game's over. Reds in 13 win it. Seven to five. We were very fortunate to have one guy up that could give you the three-run homer. And you had a you know a young pitcher out there that you know that uh, couldn't afford to make a mistake, and he did. That's a big win for us. You know, with you know lo losing five in a row coming into the game and looking like we're going down again. You know, it's a big win for us. These guys, these guys are awesome. You know, and we're going to continue to do it. I, I just hope. You know, people realize we did lose five in a row, but we lost five in a row to some good ball clubs, two of the best clubs in the American League. The Reds have now homered in 12 straight games. Their fifth pitcher of the day, Manny Ibar, works two innings for the win. Dante Bichette rolls his ankle, sliding back into second off a pickoff attempt. He left in the fourth with a sprained right ankle. He is now day-to-day. -day. Another interesting stat for the Reds pitching. Since the Reds are just one of three teams in the majors, Without a complete game, the bullpen is overworked. Scott Williamson, Danny Graves, Scott Sullivan, Manny Ibar, they rank first, second, third, and fifth, respectively, among all NL relievers in innings pitched. How long 
until that arm strain catches up to him.